fusion, the technology that perpetually seems to be 30 years away no matter what we do and been in that state for the last 60 years. And this really bugs me because every other week it would seem that somebody has made some new massive discovery about fusion power, yet we don't have fusion power as yet. So I'm Kit Lancher and welcome to my channel and please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell and well let's get into it you know what bugs me because when lost was any the major discovery made by one single person because the truth is there's no major single persons discovering any major things for at least the last hundred years i think the last time that probably happened was back in newton's time which is all fair and good as most of the basic discoveries have been done so it makes sense that big teams of people are required to make new discoveries and we see that with big projects like iter apparently there's like 5,000 people expected to be working there in order to achieve fusion, which is all fine and dandy. But then it raises the question as to why is each and every single project always just focused on their own way? The one they will do Tauruses, the others they will use confinement others will use lasers in order to achieve that confinement and there's so many different aspects that they use in order to try to achieve fusion even some trying with electric arcs this is actually back to a guy that was Hitler's friend who went by the name Ronald Richter now if you want to watch a video about that guy it's quite an interesting thing and Simon Whistler as usual actually has a video for that so it's in the description below just have a look there and what I'm just constantly thinking is is that we have these Tauruses or tokamak reactors which are excellent at heating up the plasma but they don't seem to be able to sustain that reaction due to the extreme conditions in the Taurus but they are great at making very hot plasma and then we have the laser confinement ones which are excellent at creating a nuclear reaction but they can't really create a lot of heat that well they are very inefficient at that and they lose a shit ton of energy towards converting the lasers actually into x-rays so i propose a combination of these two ideas as we can end up using the best of both worlds the Taurus is great at creating a hot plasma and the lasers are great at confining hot plasma so if we use the hot plasma from Tauruses, confine them and run them in a pulse system and just have a few of them, that way we could possibly create a sustainable fusion reaction that occurs. Also, if we have a proper cooling fluid, we can possibly use that to smooth out the peaks of the reactions and in that way causing a more constant power supply from the nuclear reactions occurring within the system. So yeah, I guess that's it. Sorry for the poor construction skills there. I tried my hand at Blender, pretty much the first time I ever worked with it. Thank God for all the YouTube tutorials out there. But I I would have never been able to do this. So thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>